All right, uh, we just finished taking a look at uh, Ptolemaios. I'm very much already in love with the dude. So now we're going to take a look at uh, Sugitani, the brand new three-star edition. And I believe the first three-star to be added into the game after Shufu, which was definitely a while ago. So very happy they're still doing some more low stars, even though it is pretty damn rare. They should definitely do more of them, but at least we got something today. So there he, she, them is... Again, gender unknown, supposedly. Uh, nice gun. So it's a monk with a gun. I'm just gonna call her her in this case. Hopefully no one is offended, just to make it a bit easier. Whoa. It looks like she's almost biting her lip there. But I think it's just a shading. Oh wait, she tried to kill Nobunaga, really? For oh, that's defense. funny. That's a scar on the nose, right? That's not shading, I believe. It's like a, one of these horizontal scars that goes through the nose. Alright, first ascension. Duh. Okay, <laughs> the rice hat. Yo, that's kind of cool though. Damn, that is. She has a nice smile actually. Oh, she's a Koga clan ninja that's specialized in like sniping with a gun. So she's not necessarily just a monk. She's like a ninja. It really does look like she's almost biting her lip, but I think I think it's just like a shading thing under her bottom lip, right? And she just does a smug smile. But you know what? It looks like she's biting her lip, and that's hot. So. I'm just gonna go with that. <laughs> I just realized, you can kind of see the cleavage. They're behind the prayer beads. <laughs> Wait, I just realized. Does she have like spats underneath that, you know, whatever she's wearing on top? Oh my. Spats are the best. Dude, easy points. All right, here we go. The third ascension. I'm guessing here's a bigger change because that the first change was very minimal. Let's see. Oh yeah. That's different. Yo, the dude, the rifle got like camo and whatnot as well. Also, wow, that she has a ponytail? Dude, this, this is a cool design. Yeah, this would be like Sword Art Online or something. Yeah, exactly. Or like Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, true. All right, final ascension. Let's go. Probably a better tame one. Usually three-star ones are nothing crazy. Oh, it's like the third ascension, but she takes a bit of it off. Does she have a bit of muscle too? She has a bit of a muscle, okay. And you can see a bit of the sides. Okay, why not? Sure, dude. It's not, is that a scar on the neck? Decapitated by Nobu? Yikes. I like the greenery on the background, the foresty background. All right, let's take a look at the sprites. I mean, dude, it's a, it's a nice, clean design. This is good. And then, yeah. The spats, though. Oh, even her legs seem to have, like, scars on them. I mean, this is a great design, though. But I'm still gonna go with the spats, because I'm a degen. But there we go. Again, you can't really expect anything super crazy, you know, aesthetically from a three-star, especially a permanent one, but I like it. I don't really have any complaints. And there's your many parts, obviously, <laughs> that I like as well, so yeah. Now, make more three stars, please. We we're getting way too few of them, you know? Right, so let's talk about the gameplay next. So for a three-star archer on base, level 70, 7.3k attack, pretty good. If you have over 7k attack on a three-star, you're looking good. That's definitely on the high end of attacks. It's probably not the highest of all three-star archers, probably not, but it's good stat-wise. Assuming she's a DPS in before she's not and this is awkward. But yeah, uh, for a DPS, uh, it's good. The deck, what do we got? The... Oh, it's the same deck. Interesting. It's the same deck, deck as Stolen Myos. So double Buster, double Arts. Again, my favorite deck. Very cool. MP is Buster. Okay. Big, big shots in Cubbig. Hit counts. Buster Arts, three each. Quick is four and then extra is five. Good, moderate hit counts. So far, so good. Passives next. We only got two of them, but uh, Magic Rest D starts it off. So 12.5% debuff rest. Cool. And then EX, independent action. Yeah, that's a sniper right there. 12% uh, crit damage, permanent. So yeah, there, there you go. There's your passives. Basic, but again, don't expect miracles from three stars anyway. Uh, that, that's already good that, it, you know, EX, independent action. For once, the lore actually paying good dividends for that crit damage. Uh, her anti-appendix, <laughs> once again, anti-archer. And I'm guessing this is because of Nobu, right? This must be because of Nobu then, <laughs> the OG. Both of the new archers, they hate archers. All right, let's talk about the AB. Wow, that's actually a lot of text, holy. So first of all, self high chance to give sure hit 
for one turn so it's chance based okay and high chance to get arts up for one turn skills with overcharge high chance to get buster up for one turn skills with overcharge and then medium chance to get mp damage for one turn and medium chance to get mp is that a second mp damage what what is a second one okay i think it is it is for one turn and then does powerful damage to one enemy and then remove self buff success rate up buffs oh oh so they they make it so you can spam it that well okay so if you have any buff success rate up buffs which her own kid could still have it i'm guessing maybe skills this mp removes them at the end so you can only cash in for one mp basically but yeah so it's rng mp that's this is like everything is rng <laughs> All right, uh, ooh, okay, let's see what the numbers are like. It's a four hitter, okay, single target. So 85% chance to get sure hit for one turn. That's the highest one. Then 70% chance each to get arts and buster up by 20% uh, base OC for one turn. And then 55% chance to get 20% MP damage for one turn. And then there's two of those. So, you can so, okay, let's assume all the RNG lands. What do you get? Sure hit, 20% arts and buster up, 40% MP damage. That's if everything lands. At that point, you have a very good MP. But that's a big if. I mean, most of them, are, I mean, all of them are be, uh, above 50% on base. But yeah, base, we'll see. I'm guessing a skill of hers will have buff success rate up. Because otherwise, this demerit being here probably wouldn't make sense. Because again, after she shoots the enemy, she l removes all her buff success rate up buffs basically if i'm reading that correctly so you can only cash in on one of those things uh obviously you guys know me i don't like rng so i have very mixed feelings about this but let's Gow. see if we can redeem any of Gow. this in the skills department we got a buster up good main card type right yeah wow that's not a, not a lot of text self buster up for three turns and buster crit damage up for three turns and that's it five turn cooldown okay i mean again it's a three star so let's see uh, we got 30% uh, buster up. Cool. For a 5 turn cooldown, 3 turns, that's actually on the good end. That's good. I was expecting maybe 20. And then 50% buster crit damage. It's still not bad, right? It's, obviously, it's not like an SSR tier skill. But even compared to a lot of 3 stars these days after so many buffs, it's not a bad skill. It's, you know, it's all offense. And it's good uptime as well. It, it's fine. It, it does the job. Then we got some kind of a cleansing icon. Oh, it's actually it's literally disengage, but it's some kind of a uh, special version of disengage in the parentheses. So let's see what hers is like. They actually printed disengage in 2023. Here's hoping her version is good. So self remove all debuffs. Cool. The disengage. Then every turn self crit damage up by one time five turns and that status lasts for five turns so for you get like every turn for five turns you get one big crit or something i guess and then also every turn gets stars per turn for three turns okay that's way better now the cooldown is also i think normal disengage correct me if i'm wrong it's a five turn cooldown this is on a six turn cooldown so you do you do get more of a cooldown but let's see the numbers of the added stuff so every turn that crit oh it's 50 percent. that's kind of cute so if you, it's it's 50% crit damage for one time five turns, every turn for five turns. So if you do a buster crit, assuming you have the first skill up as well, that's a plus 100% crit damage for one buster card every turn for three turns, because the first skill is three turns, right? You cannot crit, uh, crit to stack the effect, right? <gasps> oh, I think you're right. Yo, that's, oh, that that's actually a big, you, I didn't realize, you're right oh so yeah it stays on you for one time five turns but you get it every turn and yeah you can absolutely stack it yo that's so cool that's like a sniper thing dude this uh, it's probably not the most viable thing ever but imagine afk five turns no crits fifth turn you get 300 percent buster crit damage <laughs> from one hit <laughs> on the last turn <laughs> that's so cool yo again maybe it's not the most viable thing but that's so cool because she's a sniper that one buster crit can be so good <laughs> oh i love it dude 300 percent with the first skill and the last turn of this being active oh my i love it and then obviously the stars per turn is still there it's 10 stars per turn for three turns which again maybe you don't want that if you want to go for the fun little buff stack because you might accidentally crit but you're still gonna hurt the enemy a lot anyway right so yeah that'll be funny
Yo, I'm liking this, dude. <laughs> and then we got some kind of an evade. I mean, you gotta be able to brush it off as a sniper. She see, I mean, she has disengage too, so maybe her survival tools are actually really good. All right, self evade. Wow, three times, three turns. Wow, okay. And then Buster Star Absorb for three turns. And every turn, ah, every turn self buff success rate up for five turns. And this lasts for three turns. So wait, so it's a turn based. Wow, yo, that actually makes the MP a lot better. Because you get it three times from this one skill. I thought she was only gonna have like a three turn buff success rate up. But no, it lasts for five turns and you get it every turn for three turns. So even if MP your MP takes it off once, you still have it for two more times if you can loop fast enough. It's on a six turn cooldown. 500% buster absorb on max rank and then... Oh, it's 15%. Ah, okay. So it's not as good as I thought because again, just one of these buffs will not make you land all the buffs on the MP. I thought it was maybe going to be enough to land all of the buffs, but no. With just one turn of this, you're only guaranteed the sure hit, because the sure hit was 85%. So it might take a while. Okay. Mm, it's still not the best MP then. But yeah, after a hundred... Yeah, that's true, Mortel. This, this, you can get this 15% three times. So the third turn, you get 45%. And actually, like you said, 45% is still enough to guarantee every single buff because the lowest chance was 55 on the um, MP damages. So if you're... Dude, she's all about patience, huh? Wow, imagine. They actually designed a sniper, like, lore accurate. <laughs> so if you're patient enough, you can guarantee the buffs, but you're probably gonna... It's probably... You know, in theory, it's still probably better to blast your MP as often as you can anyway and just hope you get the buffs right. Surely it's not better to wait, but yeah, it's... It's lore accurate. Again, it's all about that patience with the crit mechanic and the MP buff, uh, you know, success stack from this thing as well. Oh yeah, and you can give her the uh, buff success rate up command code as well. Oh, that's actually going to be really good on her. Very true. Dude, what an interesting servant. Uh, I'm guessing she won't really stand out too crazy because we have a lot of good three-star single target archers, right? Let's be real. Dude, I still like this. It's a fun servant. Like, it's just a fun... Also, it seems to be really easy to keep her alive. Full debuff cleanse and a three time three hit evade on this skill. So survival wise, she should be really good at least. Yeah, and if you, if you buff stack with Koyan on the second skill as well, that'd be funny. This is a cool design. Nailed the sniper, needless to say. I'm actually very happy with both of the servants released today. <laughs> I was expecting nothing really for today. I wasn't even sure if we wouldn't get any new servants, but uh, we got two and I like both. So uh, there you go. A cute little first impression of uh, Sugi Tari as well. Uh, that'll wrap up this first impression so uh if you enjoyed it do me a solid and press the thumbs up button on this video really helps out uh subscribe not to miss out on future videos um decent chance i would say that next week has another new servant releasing with this event if the trailer is anything to go by so if you want to see more first impressions stay tuned uh good luck if you're pulling for sugitari and or tolemayos as well and otherwise i hope to see you in the next video Take care and a peace out.